Thank you very much for the introduction, Honorable Mario G. Montejo, Secretary of the Department of Science and Technology of the Republic of the Philippines. His Excellency, Rehindato Abdullah Bakar, Minister of Communications of Brunei Darussalam. His Excellency, Chin Bunsian, Secretary of State, Minister of Post and Telecommunications of Kampuchea. His Excellency, Aswina Sasonko, Minister of Communications and Information Technology of Indonesia. His Excellency Hiem Pong Machang, Minister of Post and Telecommunications of Lao People's Democratic Republic. Honorable Dato Joseph Salang Gandum, Deputy Minister of Information, Communications and Culture of Malaysia. His Excellency Yu Tian Tun, Union Minister of Communications, Post and Telegraphs of Myanmar. His Excellency Dr. Yaakob Ibrahim, Minister for Information, Communications, and the Arts of Singapore. Group Captain Anudit Nakorntap, Minister of Information and Communication Technology of Thailand. His Excellency Dr. Tran Duk Lai, Deputy Minister of Information and Communications of Vietnam. His Excellency Yang Zex Han, Vice Minister of Industry and Information Technology of the People's Republic of China. His Excellency, Dr. Kenzo Fujisui, State Secretary for Internal Affairs and Communications of Japan. Honorable Shin Yung Sup, Chairman of Korea Communications Commission of the Republic of Korea. His Excellency, Yuru Green, Deputy Director of the International Telecommunication Union. His Excellency, Dr. Lim Hong Hin, Deputy Secretary General of ASEAN. Her Excellency, Malay Lima Yusuf, Ambassador of Brunei Darussalam, His Excellency Hirubalan, VP, Ambassador of Singapore, Honorable Fortunato de la Peña, Under Secretary of the Department of Science and Technology of the Philippines, Senior Officials of the Association of the Southeast Asian Nations, Honorable Alfredo Waipo, Commissioner of the Professional Regulations Commission of the Philippines, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Distinguished guests, fellow workers in the Philippine government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm honored to speak on behalf of our president today. And therefore, allow me to share with you his message for this particular occasion. In the coming days, I will meet the leaders of the ASEAN member states from ensuring our regional stability and security to enhancing international political cooperation to coming together to find solutions. Our objective is clear, to help each other for the benefit of our peoples. Your team today reflects the beliefs, this belief. We are stronger when we are connected by sharing best practices in telecommunications and digital infrastructure development, we not only intensify our respective communication industries, but more importantly, strengthen our foothold as the world center of information technology and business processing. All in all, around 11.7 million ICT-related jobs have been created throughout the ASEAN. In the Philippines, for one, our ICT industry, which is now at the forefront of the BPO race, has enjoyed continuous growth and expansion since its nascent years. Last year, this sector generated $11 billion in direct revenues and contributed 638,000 new jobs giving our people opportunities to live more comfortable and safer lives. Our success in this industry finds root in the increased investor confidence in the skill and quality of our workforce and in the renewed optimism in our government and institutions. These past two years, 
our efforts have resounded one clear message. The Philippines is open for business under new management. And recognizing the role of ICT, our administration has developed policies that would improve our internet use and broadband penetration. As quoted in the ASEAN ICT Master Plan of 2015 from World Bank studies, a 10% increase in broadband use will result to a 1.3% increase in the overall ASEAN GDP. We have the Department of Science and Technology, which, through its Information and Communications Technology Office, executes various programs that address the overall ICT needs of the Philippines. And in order to further minimize the digital divide and to equip our people with the necessary skills and resources, we have initiated the ICT Industry Development Program, which by supporting the growth of this industry in various regions in our country, will enhance market competitiveness and will strengthen communications throughout our region. We know that a larger and more connected ICT industry in this part of the world means more efficient services, which in turn ensure satisfaction, encourage greater interest, and thus ultimately lead to business expansion and investments. But even more importantly, this also means empowering more of our peoples, and it means giving them the chance to speak out their minds, to contribute to social discourse and development, and by so doing, help find answers to the problems we now face. This is about promoting transparency accountability and efficiency in both our private and public spheres. At the end of the day, our work here is all about building on capacities and bridging gaps and ensuring that everyone has an equal access to information and opportunities. Today, we are a step closer to our goal of efficient information sharing and open communication. But much is yet to be done. As in the past, we have shown that solidarity is necessary for us to achieve our objectives. Here in the Philippines, we have proven that nothing is impossible to a determined and united people. Together, our nations can work together to bring our region to a new age of development and advancement. Together, we can make this a reality. Thank you and good day.